Greetings, citizens of the planet Earth. Today I'm going to show you how to lower your action on your acoustic guitar. On an electric guitar it's easy, you just take a screwdriver and you just screw it down, but for an acoustic guitar it's a little more difficult because you've got a piece that looks a little bit like this and uh, you can't really lower it. There's not very much you can do. Um, so this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to lower the action on your acoustic guitar so that you can play the thing without making your fingers bleed. Um, first thing you want to do you're going to need strings on it in order to uh, in order to test to make sure that it works. So leave the strings wrapped on the nuts here, okay, and just loosen them until they're really really flat. Like this. Okay, now that they're really really floppy, grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers, and one by one, just start to yank these babies out like so. Oops, don't break them. Okay. This is hard to do with one hand. I may put you on pause while I do this. <laughs> Just start yanking them out like this. And again, make sure you leave the strings on. Okay, leave the strings on because later you're going to need to re put the strings back on there in order to. Uh, in order to um, you know make sure that they're right. Another thing you're you're going to want to need, which I neglected to measure, is like uh, mentioned, is a tape measure or a ruler. Um, with this tape measure, you are going to measure uh, the the distance of the strings. My my distance was at three thirty seconds of an inch. Um, I want to reduce it to about one thirty seconds of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause here while I continue to remove the rest of the strings. Okay, so now I've got those all off. As you can see there, I've still got my strings attached because later we're going to need, even if I want to replace the strings, we're still going to need to put the strings back on there in order to you know, tune it up to E so that we can test to see if the action is still good. Um, uh, when you're going to use sandpaper to file this down, now you don't want to file you don't want to file the top of this down, okay? Because it's, see like this little bump right here? This little bump right here. You don't want to file that down, so what you instead want to do is just pull the thing out like this, okay? And you want to file the bottom of it. And I don't know if you can see, but there's little marks on this that show you about 30 second of an inch. So I'm just going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to file it down 1 30 second of an inch. Um, actually, I'm sorry, 2 30 seconds of an inch to try to get it down closer to where my electric guitar. Uh, is and then I'm going to put it back on and hopefully if I did it right this baby will play great if I didn't do it right then I got to go to Guitar Center and buy myself another one so um, always file less than you think you need to that way you don't need to replace the thing um, so here we go now I'm going to go get some sandpaper and file this baby down okay so now I'm down in my little shop here um, I don't really have much of a thing to work with but I'm just gonna use this sandpaper that I got left over on my belt sander um, which the last time I used was just to sand down my deck and uh, the key is is you want it to be as flat as possible okay and you want to sand it evenly you don't want to sand too much on one side okay so just try to do it evenly Paying attention to these little markers so that you're only, you know, filing off what you want, which in my case is two thirty seconds of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep sanding here. The key is to sand it very evenly, because if you sand one part uh, too much, then uh, your intonation is going to be wrong. You're going to end up with fret fuzz and all that sort of thing, which nobody wants that. That's not going to be fun. I'm going to put this on pause while I continue my sanding. Okay, I got this baby pretty close to where I want it, about two thirty seconds of an inch uh, smaller. So it's not exactly perfect. I've also checked the the middle part here to make sure that it was you know evenly done and stuff. Just touch it with your finger, just run your finger across, and you can feel if it's evenly done. Um, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a try now. Here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna put this baby. I'm just going to put it right back in, just the way it was. 
Boy, I hope this works because it's really cold outside and I do not feel like driving to Guitar Center. It should just pop right in. And uh, okay, there we go. Now it's in. Now I gotta start putting the strings back in. Now if you did this right, you should still have your strings on on the, the uh, winders here so that you don't have to rewind them. And I do need new strings, but right now I'm just trying to test if the nut is cool. So I'm gonna need my other hand again, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these strings on. I'll pause while I'll do that. I'm sure you already know how to put strings on, I hope. And as you're putting these strings on, I mean, you can kind of tighten them up just to get them snug a little bit here. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're just trying to get them back on right now. We can make it all perfect later. <laughs> Okay, get these strings back on, get them in there real good. Okay, now that I got the strings back on, they're all on there real good. I'm totally out of tune, which is totally okay. Um, I've got one of those cool built-in tuners. So your next move now is just, just like if you just bought you know new strings, just get this baby perfectly in tune for whatever tuning you play in. I play an E standard, whatever. Um, you won't be able to test the action out and see if it's any good without getting the strings perfectly in tune, obviously. So I'm going to put you on pause again here and tune my strings now. Okay, so now i got the strings back on. Take my little tape measure here, and you're just going to... You know, measure the micro inches there. I was trying to get it down to one thirty second, which is a little bit ambitious for an acoustic. Um, always measure at the twelfth fret. So let's see what we got here. All right, I got it down to about one and a half thirty seconds. Okay, that's cool. You don't want to overfile. You know, again, um, you know, you can you know ruin ruin your uh, bridge that way if you do that. I can already feel it feels much better to play. <laughs> This um, video was instructional and helpful for you. God bless. Have a great day.